So we're going to talk about, we're going to start building the corners, which the corners means this glass, which is the side panel, second side panel, and first back glass. That's what the corner means. All the others are bolts in the middle, yes, or to your body. So we start with the first one. The good news is the technique is going to be the same. The only thing that's going to change is that once you fix your body with the technique we're going to talk about, then you will need to follow more. Yeah, sometimes that way, sometimes towards the ball. But right now, we're going to build first the first panel single rebound corner. So, I always start here. Well, the position, this should be your optimal position. Of course, I don't mind if you're a bit here, but I don't want you to be here. Yes, we will talk about that in a, in a different lesson, but the main reason is what you're going to learn now, if you're out of position, then you need to hire a different coach to explain you how to play from here because I, I, I don't agree with it. I'm, I'm not doing it when I play. So to me, this is your position. Of course, you can have a sense of anticipation, but you need to be here. Yes. Now, the ball comes there. It's a forehand. You only have forehand and backhand. Thank God. Two choices. The ball comes there. When you see it, you are going to prepare back leg. Yeah, so basically another thing that you can think of is look at the ball over the shoulder and have your racket ready. Now, my racket is back, yeah, but be careful. This is also back, but that's like a very bad habit. So a good reference is keep your arm close to your body. Not like this, but, you know, keep it close to your body because that's enough. Yeah, that's enough of a backswing because the game is going to get faster and faster. So I want to see leg and racket, exactly. Then you move, you hit and you recover. Yes, also in the recovery, you use the same concept. You open, you move, you hit, you close. Huh? Can we do that? Go. Yes, go. Sideways, stay, stay, stay. Don't get that leg out. Like, you are turning beautifully and then, of course, right now you manage because my ball is the kindest fucking ball you can get. Stay sideways. Read it. Yes. So, lock and drive. There, exactly. You can, you can go. Now I like this. When you hit, you can lean. Yeah? So it's not only the arm. Go. There, lean. Hmm. Yes, the reason why I don't like the basket is because it, it makes you stupid. It's like uh, raising a kid and giving everything to them. Yeah, they, they, they think life is like that. It's the same. I give you one ball. Ah, fantastic, yeah, you go home. As soon as the ball bounces different, it's the same. It's the same fucking thing. Turn and adjust. Sometimes my ball might push you here. Sometimes it might push you here. Sometimes it might push you here. Sometimes you have to go here, but it's always the same. Prepare and adjust, yeah? Prepare and adjust. Depending on the pace, you move more or you move less, but don't change. There, adjust. Exactly. Go. Adjust. There. Go. So, you did the single rebound. It can get better, but good first day. Now, when the ball, yes, many times it hit very close to the, to the division of the glasses, which I like that you took it as one. It depends on the pace of the ball. But now, my ball is going to go deeper. Because it touches the second side glass, you are going to have to use the back glass also. So it's a double rebound ball. The same thing. It's not, it's not really like two techniques for these two different shots. It's the same technique, just a different ball. Yes? So the ball comes deeper, you are going to step the same thing. You're going to pivot deeper and then be ready to move. How much? I don't know. Depending on the pace, depending on the bounce, depending on the spin. But right now I'm going to give you a neutral ball just to see if we can understand that you need to rotate right away, then you need to move, you need to hit and go. Same thing, yeah? Pam, 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 yeah? Over and over again, active, react, boom, 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 yeah? See, I don't need to pay for coaching. Go. The thing is, most of the time, recreational players are just on the court, playing, yeah? But there is a lot of things that you need to be paying attention to if you want to play better. So focus on the pace, because depending on the pace, you already know that you're going to have to move more. If it's slower, for example, you're going to have to move a little bit less, but still, you got to be active. Okay? Go. Yes. Go. 
Nice, nice, nice. Three. Go. There. Set, set, set. Nice. Don't let the ball come here. So why the ball comes in here a bit? Remember what I said at the beginning about the elbow? Your elbow cannot separate so much from your body. Yeah? The elbow has to stay here. So your forearm, your forearm opens so you can be close to the ball. Okay? Go. Focus on that. Go. Better preparation. Yeah. Epa. The forearm opens. Mm-hmm. Go. The forearm. Yeah, a good reference is if we had a line there of students waiting, they have to see your back, not the side of your leg. They have to see your ass, basically. Yeah, That's, that means good position. And if you have to go all the way to the middle, you stay sideways and hopefully you keep the position. Okay, now combine them. If it's the first glass, single rebound. If it's the second side glass, double rebound. Normally, there are exceptions, yeah? But that's how I want you to think. Ready? You decide. Good choice. <laughs> Good choice. Good. Yes. And this one? Ay, ay, ay. So that might happen sometimes, yeah? That's why you need to practice the glass a lot. Sometimes, um, I get told, oh, why you always do corners? Why you are so eager for us to do the glass? Well, because as you can see, it's very easy to make a mistake, yeah? So it's never enough corners in your paddle career. All right, listen, we're gonna do the backhand. To me, it's always the same, yeah? When I teach you one thing on one side, it's the same on the other. Of course, with the small variations, like on backhand, you need the left hand on the racket, the left hand takes the racket, you move, and then you can normally let it go to play with one hand, yes? But it's the same concept. Instead of using the right leg, well, you're gonna use the left leg, but it's the same. Now, I give you a little tip, because you're very familiar with this, so you do it pretty much perfect, yeah? But when, when I'm teaching this to someone that is not so familiar with these concepts of, of you know, having hit that many balls, um, what happens is that they have a lot of trouble believing that we use the glass to make time, yeah? So the ball comes there and people get stressed. So what they do is they do this, but then they go towards the ball. And if the ball has space, which is the case most of the time, they crash or even worse. Hopefully you don't meet anyone, no coach that asks you to step towards the ball. To me, it's like the stupidest thing someone can say. That guy probably has never played paddle. So what I want to see is that when the ball comes, you prepare. And remember that you use the glass to make time, yeah? So you gotta wait. It's true that sometimes the ball might come higher, sometimes might come lower, but you gotta wait. So let's say you have someone that doesn't understand this. The best way to fix it is get here, get in your ready position, get in your ready position, yes? So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna call these the magic marks, yeah? Or if you have balls, tennis balls, the, the, the magic balls, yeah? Uh, the boss, the problem is that if they step on it, they might get injured. So you don't want to put your customer in danger. But you put this. And basically, what you tell them is that they cannot cross here. So, for example, do the motion. Imagine the ball. Picture the ball. Yeah, no, do it, do it properly. Okay. So you prepare. Yes, and then you can adjust, but you, don't, you won't step here. Like here, imagine this is the ocean. You cannot step there. Yeah? If you were six years old, I would say that there is monsters and sharks here. So you don't better not go there. Not even your, your, your foot. Okay? So let's see what happens. Then it surprises people. Yeah? So don't get eaten by the sharks or monsters or creatures. Wait. Yeah? Exactly. Actually, you can even move a little bit to the more backwards. Yes? Because of the rebound. Exactly. Ah. Yes. Better than the forehand. Well, actually not. Go. There, exactly. And look, even if the ball comes slow or slower, it's still going to go to you, eh? Because a lot of times, you say, yeah, but if the ball is slow, I need to change the technique. No. Yes? So even when the ball is slow, it will come to you. The question is, are you patient enough? Yeah, but the logic is you use the glass to make time. So if you use the glass to rush, then you are, you are, you are, you are doing something wrong, yeah? 
So wait, make time. Exactly. Okay. Wait, make time. Yes. So two walls. So you, you tell me now. Imagine that the ball is coming two walls. It's the same technique. So what are you going to do? You are going to prepare and pivot. And then you are going to adjust to the ball. Yeah. So listen, prepare. Yes, so you are prepared. Then stay fixed like this, yeah? Your upper body has to stay fixed. And now with the lower body, follow the ball. And when you are set, boom, you hit, yeah? Okay, yeah, you probably don't need to go so much back and forth, but go. Yes, exactly. Go, 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 go. Boof. Go. There, go, go, go. If you feel the ah, it's because you need to go more back. Yes, go, make the adjustment. Go, go back, back. Yes, go, back. So when you feel that need of, you know, that you are maybe too, too much in front of the ball, yes, then I want you to go more back. So the solution to your problems or to your mistakes for us in Tasty is not on your upper body. Because the upper body, everybody understands, eh? It's on the lower body. What is the sad thing? I would say most of the coaches try to find the problem in your, in your grip, if your racket is pointing up or not. To me, the fucking problem comes from the roots, never better said, from your feet. If you adjust well, you hit well, even if you have a, a funny grip, yeah? So to me, you should start fixing the problems from the bottom, okay?